Hey there, YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Where it's gon' be Fuckin' with a nigga like me D to the M to the X Last I heard, that niggas was having sex With the same sex I show no So today, uh, we're back here working on this socket tray build part 2 And what I'm doing is uh, Now that I got the plate on here uh, I'll swing you around here in a minute uh, Now that I got the plate on here We need to figure out how to fasten this to this uh, plate so we can make long runs and it be down there without getting less chatter So that was the idea of this plate is to make like a table jig that this fits on and then we can uh, move down and Find our hole centers and all that stuff and move stuff in accurate uh, Way okay, the first couple are gonna be kind of time-consuming to get everything kind of laid out so I'll bring you in here and I'll show you kind of what I got going on and uh, we will figure out how to, uh, you know, get this done. So what I'm using is uh, I found these things or a guy told me, Acne Tool, told me about these mite bite holders and I thought that this might work. So what I did is I already did two. So what I did is, is I know that I'm going to start right here as my center point. I'm going to start off this edge. This edge would probably be more accurate up here, but I'm going to start off the bottom for a reason. So what I did is I come in, I touch with my center indicator, you know, I find zero here. Now what it says on the instructions here, uh, I've never used these before, so what it has back here is it tells you that it's quarter 20, and it says distance from the workpiece. Uh, so what I did is, is I want to be 300 thousandths uh, on there. It's supposed to be 308, but I did. We will use 308 up here uh, when we do the top and sides. Uh, now what I'm doing today is I'm going to do the top and one side. I'm probably going to put holes in here because I messed up on the overall length. I wasn't thinking. So this is going to be our prototype. Now what we have to do first is we're going to get all these in there. I'm going to show you how to make these mite bite holder things. And then we're going to move up here and we're going to touch off here, move over 308 thousandths drill and tap three holes right here. And then we're going to get this clamped in and see that it doesn't move side to side and it kind of stays uh, where we want it there, if you will. But the reason that I came off here is, is I know that this is going to be my starting point for every one. So I want this really square and all that stuff. And you know, for 80 bucks, if I need more of these, I can get them. It's not that big a deal. So let's get the mill fired up. Um, so I know uh, that right now I am 23 inches and basically three quarters from the start. Now I put this one, the one here in the middle, exactly at 12 inches. So I know the center of the table or the, it's really the center of the run. So let's get the thing on here and uh, we are gonna come down and we are watching this right here uh, because we are going to drill 750 thousandths down into this uh, 750 down into the aluminum plate here and that gives us our correct hold depth for what I'm shooting for. So there's 750. All right. Again, dude, short these short drill bits are the shit. So blow that off. Now what we got to do is put the machine in low. Uh, okay, I'm just check. Yep, we're in low. Okay, then what we're gonna do is come in and uh, just countersink this hole real quick. All right. So we got that countersunk. Now, uh, what I am gonna do here is, what I'm doing is, is I'm just putting this tap in Okay, and I'm going to try to, what I'm doing is kind of just uh, pop, 
power tap in this. And how you do it is, is you don't have the quill on. You put it in low range and you just kind of let it go down. All right, that got our hole started. All right, so that gets our hole started there. Get us a couple threads. And then we will just finish it by hand with a bottoming tap. But what I, what I, why I started it like that is, is um, it gets it square. So we have a first couple threads to start on there. You know, like with a bigger tap, I could uh, power tap it. With this quarter inch stuff, I'm a little gun shy, if you get what I'm saying. So, you know, we'll run there. And with quarter inch, you gotta keep constantly cleaning out the hole uh, just because you put a lot of pressure on the tap. I like these kind of stare at big tap wrenches like this, especially for uh, straightforward stuff. So that's that. All right, blow that out. Now uh, we come over here and we start screwing our hole in. Okay, now as you can see, all right, so we got that moved all uh, up against there. All right, now what we're gonna do is, is now we need to pick up our back axis up here and uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. Uh, so what I'm doing is I got my quill stop in there and you can see I got my feeler on there. Now what we're gonna do is just move this in till we're running true there. All right, now we're gonna I'll clear. We're gonna set zero here, okay? And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna dial in a hundred thousands, just like on everything else. You know, because it's half the distance. All right. Then we're gonna re-zero, okay? All right. So now that we got that. Now we know that we're zero point, okay? So then we're gonna come in. Okay, now what we have to do is, is that we have to back it off 308 thousandths. Okay, right there. Now we're gonna drill our hole, okay, because you know, we did 300 on this side, but that's just to get this started. And it said on these instructions that we have to be 308 thousandths away on these for the MV4s right there. So then what we will do is, is that we are gonna lock our table in at that 308 thousandths. Then all we have to do is rinse and repeat. So I'll do another hole here, and then uh, I'll show you guys how I'm doing that. And uh, whatever. Now I'm not center drilling these, to be honest with you, uh, because um, with a number seven drill bit, I don't feel like I need to, I need to uh, center drill these things. You know, because it's just not going to move around a lot. And come down. Just radius that edge a little bit. Get us some lube in there. WD-40 works good on aluminum. That's about the best stuff that I've found to work. All right. 
Now, turn it on again. You just want to get it. All right, now we got that stuck in there, but it's all right, we'll get it out. We'll just come on our tap wrench. Just, you know, it's hard to break these chips with quarter 20, but like I said, I just wanted to have it to, you know, just have it to do whatever to start the hole, basically. So I know that I'm straight when I stick this in there and it catches threads. You know, our, our hole is, well, as straight as absolutely possible. You know, and I'm only running this thing like, I think I got the machine set at 120 right now. So it's not like I'm, you know, just fucking running this thing, you know, 4,000 RPM. You know, because what I really don't want to do is break the tap off in there because it will suck to get out. All this shit all over the place but our hole looks good you know that's what's so awesome about a mill man there's endless possibilities if you get what I'm saying you know like you can do whatever you need to do you know to uh, do this stuff you know they make there's companies out there that make you know like these little holders and stuff like that. There's a lot of guys making some cool stuff with their mill at their house. So now what we'll do is we'll get another mite bite holder here and we will screw that down in there and see if we can get this to tighten up. Oh my god. Well, that works better than I fucking thought it would. Holy shit. There we go. Holy shit. Oh man. Okay, these things are the shit. Because that firm that right up. So I think three of these on each side, we should be good. I'll come back when I get it all done, uh, and then what we will do is uh, we might try to face it tonight. Who knows? We'll see how much time we get after we get all that on. Uh, I might put one over here just to hold the back so I have a starting point, and then maybe later we'll figure out where we have to end uh, down there and all that stuff. So I'll be back after we get all this done. Yeah, hey, uh, we're getting ready to do the edges here, and I just wanted to show you, you know, like you can see how this edge finder works so that's uh, zero there and there's where it kicks off so then we'll come up and we'll dial in a hundred thousandths and re-zero alrighty so why I'm doing this is is I'm gonna put uh, going to be kind of strategic here so what I'm doing is is that I want to have a work stop so I'm going to use these clamps uh, here on the sides as kind of a work stop so I know what I want to do is, is I want to come over three hundred and eight thousandths again so again this will be negative 308 we're going to we're gonna fudge that to right about there because you know we're gonna give ourselves four tenths to play with now what I want to do is I know that when I make the quarter inch ones they're gonna be about four inches okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in two inches okay 
so what I did is, is I came in two inches. Now when I drill this hole, you know, I'm two inches uh, here, and that'll give me, that'll be centered of the whatever one. And then I'm gonna come over here and do, I'm gonna go to four inches. And what that'll do is it'll give me a corner, and if I do the half inch one, or if I do half inch ones, the plate's gonna be about eight inches. So what I have to do is again, extend this up here, and that gives me plenty of plate because this plate is like nine, nine something, 950. So I know that I can always reference off the bottom here and I can just move these back um, if I have to and move them into the center, if you get what I'm saying. So again, I don't think you wanna redrill holes. I'm just trying to explain my theory of my jigging here to hold this stuff down. Now I will tell you uh, that these might bite fasteners or holders are actually the fucking shit. They're, they fucking work really good. And this work piece is in there pretty good where we could face it because what I don't wanna do is sell you guys this shit with it not looking very smooth. You know, I want it to have this kind of finish when I uh, get done with it and radius the edges, you know, all four corners, knock all this sharp stuff off. And I can easily do that with how it's held in here. Um, what I'll have to do here is eventually make some new holes so I can keep stepping this down uh, to hold uh, fasteners when I go to, uh, when I go to radius these corners. You know, we're always gonna work off this side, but we could just flip the part around and radius over here and then hold it here. And then, you know, take this one out, run the table, stop, pull this one out, put this one back in, move down. It's gonna be a long process to do all this, but um, I think it's the best way to do it without a CNC machine. Um, if I was really smart, you know, I would, uh, uh, you know, I'd get a set of just real thin parallels and stand it up on there, but these might bite holders are not really designed to do that. And if I had the vise on here, it really wouldn't work uh, either. Anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do is have our stops down here at two and four inches. And then down here, I'm not going to put any in just quite yet because I want to see uh, what the overall length that I need for three quarter. Obviously, quarter inch is going to be different and half inch is going to be different. So what we'll probably have to do is extend the stop down here or do something that we can catch our zero off of and know that we're going to mark the center and whatever we move it because we can only make a 24 inch run or the half inch ones are going to be 24 inches and then plus another 12 inches or something like that they might have to be broken in two pieces so we can fit uh, the sockets on there but anyway uh, that's what we're doing here all righty uh well we got the table jig uh done that's uh, as far as i think i'm going to take it in part two uh what i got to do is uh, i'm going to try this new uh, face mill here and uh, I'm gonna face this and then we'll come back when we're getting ready to actually drill the holes I mean you guys seen me face a bunch of stuff it's really rinse and repeat all over that or that might be the beginning part of next video but anyway uh, I feel pretty good that I got that jig down uh, this stuff is in there pretty tight these little mite bite holders work really good I might need to get some extra ones uh, for longer pieces maybe I don't know but uh, for how much they cost I'll probably get a set but anyway like any like always check out the the patreon account check out uh, the snap on junkie.com online tool vendors uh, dot com if you want to see anything that uh, I use on this channel 90% of it comes from Amazon uh, for the stuff for the mill that's where I've been buying a lot of stuff some stuff's been coming from Craigslist though uh, or no Facebook groups like machinist selling groups stuff. I bought a lot of used stuff up there. That's where I got this face mill, and it's a Sandvik. It's pretty fucking nice. Uh, but like always, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I gotta fucking go.